inflation and debt reduction advice. And who doesn't need that? Right. A pretty good start. And quickly from the outside. Jordan gets a good jump. Oh, a lot of tank slapping going on coming out of turn number two. It hasn't proved kind for a lot of people. We've got one car going very slowly up the back there. As Jordo gets on his way. He's trying to get this car up the top off track and I don't know whether that's going to happen in time. It's going to be touch and go here now to try and get this car. No. The officials left it as long as possible and it's right on the edge of the track there, unfortunately. On the sixth. Rear tyre of that one. Okay, thanks Chris. Let's see what Jordan can do as he motors through in the early stages. Oh, but the rerun of this one, the remaining laps. Leaving the Mamerinese behind. O'Keefe in second spot. Sean Black in third. Brims at the rear of the field. Oh, right out wide, O'Keefe. Sean Black had to take a base of action out of two. Brinkman further back, followed by Ian Brims. So Nick O'Keefe just trying to stay out of the way at the moment. Oh, bicycling through the bottom there and up on two wheels. How he never rolled it, I don't know. Right up on two wheels. Almost the point of no return. I have never seen a super sedan do that before. That was unbelievable. But it scared the you know what out of him down there, that's for sure. Certainly uh, did say to us. You see the complete yeah, Bob, underside. I don't know, Bob, but I've got a funny feeling that car might not be quite set up just right, quite right at the moment. But obviously they'll keep working at it, hopefully. But lucky to get away with that one, indeed. I'm going to say, Keith, we'll just have a quick chat here with Wayne, Wayne Randall. Wayne, great start in that one. The car had plenty of speed, but obviously a flat tyre on the left rear. Nothing else that you know of the drum of the car? Um, I think when he hit, he hit me, he's not the... I don't know if it's a battery lead or something. It's, it's lost all... Um, Lost all power, fucks up and cuts out as well, but that's not why I pulled out. I pulled out because of uh... All right. No worries, Wayne Randall. Wayne, you love experience there. You'll come from Five laps remaining in this one as I start to rev up. <coughs> and we're away. Steve Jordan, Sean Black, Tony Brinkman and Ian Rims, and at the rear of the field there, the man who almost had a catastrophic incident down the bottom of the track. Nicholas O'Keefe. Jordan looking pretty good out there. Keeping Sean Black and Arms there. Bringman just in front of Brims. Brims had a go at him out of turn number two. Couldn't quite do it. In the meantime, the race has been joined at the front and black right on the back of our lead car. Steve Jordan, our leader. Normally used to the all black car. Here's Brims with a go on the inside of Brinkman. Oh, and he can't do it. He got a little bit too cute down the bottom there trying to go on the inside and uh, he got all out of whack. And that allowed some breathing space. We've only got a lap to go. These guys are on their last lap. Black. He's all over the back of our leaders. They charge through. Steve Jordan, Sean Black. And down to the finish. And it's Jordan in the 10. Black in the 26. And look at this for a finish here now. Well, oh, Brims came back from the death and got Brinkman. Well, I didn't think that was possible. He got him for third place. And the luckiest man in the field out there, the 20 of Nick O'Keefe, survived to tell the tale. But well done to Jordo under immense pressure down there, and we're going to hear all about it from Chris. Thank you. Right, uh, thanks, Bob. Chris, Steve Jordan, one of the several drivers in the field tonight, Australian Championship winner. Jordo in victory lane. He's going to steal Jordo. He's going to get unbuckled here. Are we are we giddy upping yet, Jordo? Or what? Oh yeah, two words, giddy up. Got to Obviously, you know, obviously good to see you back on track. Obviously happy to be out there racing. Get a good heat win. That'll give you a, a big couple of points for the feature race, hoping to get into that top eight and maybe a bit of luck. Things will fall your way. Yeah, that's it. 
We uh, little tight ball rings is always uh, always hard work, but we love it. Um, yeah, bring on the feature. Uh, no worries. Always happy down here. Steve Jordan, number ten. Looking forward to get out there and have a run in the feature race. You love running here at Archfield.